I'm home. Mr. Reliable. <laughs> you remember that 20 bucks you loaned me last month? Oh, yeah, sure, but I'm not in a rush to get it well, back. Well, never let it be said that Kirk Morris is a deadbeat, John. Owing you that 20 bucks, he's been eating me alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to square the debt right now, John. Here you go, Pop. Oh. And thank you. Yeah, thanks. But Kirk, it's only a 10. Right. 10 in cash, and the other 10 in government inspected or whether to fly El Diablo. <laughs> Not available in stores, John. You cannot buy these things. Man, that's hurt. <laughs> they pay me back in condoms? Yeah. <laughs> Don't spend them all in one place. <laughs> yeah, who is that? John, it's Wendy. Wendy? Uh, just a minute. That's my ex-wife. She can't see these. Well, are you kidding me, John? My ex-wife's up by. I have those things spread all over the room. <laughs> yeah, just a minute, Wendy. Oh, hi, Wendy. Hello, John. Oh, Wendy, uh, this is Kirk. Oh, well, nice to meet you. The pleasure is entirely mine. John, you did this woman a grave disservice when you described her as merely lovely. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. John, I like your friend. Mm -hmm. And, John, you never mentioned how charming she was. Oh, how very kind. Not to mention a great set of gaboons. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Kirk. Goodbye, Kirk. Goodbye. Yeah, right. Come on, it's a yeah. personal yeah. observation, John. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, one of God's factory seconds. <laughs> Listen, John, we absolutely have to solve the school situation with Matthew. The interview is Monday. Wendy, we already talked about this. I know, I know. I just wanted to drop off these brochures. Now, I know if you look at them, you'll see what a look, wonderful school this Wendy, is. Wendy, I agree that St. Beatrice is a fine school, but I still don't feel that we have to lie to get Matthew in that school. But, John, it's a Catholic school. If they find out we're divorced, I just know oh. they're not going to let him in. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go to that interview and pretend that you and I are still married. You know how I feel about lying? It goes back to my childhood. My father always taught me to tell the truth. Your father was a used car salesman. <laughs> yes, but he wasn't a good one. <laughs> look, just now, read the brochures. Please look, just look at them, please. It, it's not that I don't want Matthew to have a good education. It's just that, in my experience, lying never works. People always see through it. And you wind up looking like a damn fool. Oh, John. You're right. You are so right. You know, it's that integrity of yours that I really miss. In fact, just hearing you talk like that makes me regret we ever got divorced. You really mean that? Of course not. I'm lying. <laughs> you see how easy it is? <laughs> Hello? 
This is where the, uh, the 121 Club meets. Oh, yes. That's great. <laughs> Miss uh, Mercer? Oh, no, no. Louise hasn't arrived yet. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> you probably think it's strange to see somebody like me in a place like this, right? No, not really. <laughs> but coping with the breakup of a marriage, that can be hard on anybody, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Even somebody like me. Sure, why not? That's one of my roadies once said to me. He said, Rick, Rick, he said, Ricky, it doesn't matter how famous you are, your destiny lies in the hands of an even bigger star. <laughs> of course, my main concern is this thing leaking. Thing leaking. <laughs> the story of my marriage breaking up. The press, the press does oh. not seem to realize that even a legend like me is entitled to some privacy. Oh, are you, are you somebody? I was hoping you wouldn't recognize me. Oh, well, actually, I, I, I don't. Oh. Well, 1969 was a, was a very long time ago. <laughs> this will jog your memory. <laughs> oh, woo, oh, woo. You know that I love you. I think the world of you. But don't break my heart this way. Not on my birth, not on my birth, not on my birthday. Oh, yeah. Mm. Takes you back, doesn't it? Actually, no. Then again, I, I think I had a lot of homework that year. Come on, everybody remembers that song. That song was a, a monster hit for, for Ricky Fortune and the Fortunates. <laughs> that is me. I am Ricky Fortune. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Kate McCarran. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I think I'm going to go put on some coffee for the group. You're right. Pardon me? It is me. Is it? This way, not on my birthday, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, well, happy birthday. So I agree with my ex-wife that that school could be a very important thing for our son. The trouble is, I just have a problem lying. I don't understand, John. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised, Kirk. I wouldn't expect you to appreciate that kind of fine moral distinction. No, no, no. I, I mean, I don't understand what's so great about this school. I mean, what do they got, a girls' mud wrestling team? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? 
John, is, is it possible that you may be overreacting? Overreacting? No, I don't think so, Ralph. Wendy wants me to go to that interview with her on Monday and pretend that we're still married. Well, how important is getting him into this school? Well, we're not exactly happy about the school he's going to right now. Well, these formative years can truly affect how a child grows up. Yes, but I still don't think it's worth lying for. Besides, I'm sure there were a lot of fine graduates to come out of PS 74. <laughs> PS 74? Yeah. John, it's my alma mater. <laughs> On the other hand, a little white lie never hurt anyone. Right. Now that that's resolved, I think it's about time we met our new member. Would you like to take the floor, dear? Introduce yourself. Tell us a little about your life. Well, as you all probably know by now, my name is Rick. Everybody! Hi, Rick! <laughs> Yes, well, my wife uh, split about 18 months ago. And when it first happened, I thought, what the hell? Coffee wants here if I care. Yeah, I'm hearing you, guy. I got friends. Right on. Yeah, who needs you? Damn straight. <laughs> but that thinking's for morons. <laughs> you bet, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, how, how many years were you married, Rick? We never actually got married in a, in a conventional sense, you know. It was an Arapaho wedding ceremony. <laughs> Woodstock. Summer solstice. Flowers. You know. It was very romantic. Halfway through the ceremony, a sheep gave birth. <laughs> Maybe next week you can show us the wedding pictures. Go on, dear. Anyway, my wife left me. Took me by surprise. Although God knows why. I mean, how many marriages do last in show business? Oh, your wife was in show business. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about myself. Uh, this is Ricky of Ricky Fortune and the Fortunatos. Nets, Fortunettes. Wait, sorry. We had a smash hit. It was called Not On My Birthday. In January, it was in the charts. Just in, just in 1969. Well, that was a long time ago, dear. Have you recorded anything more recently that we might recognize? No. We haven't cut a record in years. Well, why not? Well, uh, mainly, um, mainly because the fortunates are dead. <laughs> Oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> Why? Her. Would you let him finish? She's finished. He's history. <laughs> Basically, my friend, I don't think your wife left you. I think she just forgot who you were. <laughs> People used to stand in line to see me. Did you say Ricky Fortune and the Fortunettes? Yeah. Well, sure, I remember you. You do? Yes, I, I bought all your records. I was a big fan. Yeah? Oh, don't believe him. He's just saying that. <laughs> well, why should he lie for my sake? Because he's such a goody-goody. <laughs> All right. If you're such a big fan of this guy's, which one of his monster hits was your favorite? Well, that's uh, very hard to say. Um, but if I was to narrow it down, I would, I would have to choose that ooh ooh thing. Oh, you mean the one that goes ooh? Oh yeah. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, that still gives me the chills. Oh, <laughs> please, come on, listen, guy. The only one that's ever heard of you is him, and he doesn't count because he's lying. So, it strikes me that no one, when I say no one, I mean nobody, has ever, ever heard of you. Yes, well, look at the time. Perhaps we ought to call it a night. 
Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, everyone. But I promised my neighbor I'd stop by and water her. Ah! <laughs> Ricky! <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you, in the session tonight, did you mean it when you said you remembered Ricky Fortune and the Fortunates? Uh, no, I never heard of them. But poor Ricky was taking so much flack from Kirk, I just felt that I had to bail him out. Yeah, well, I knew it. I could tell that you were lying. You could? Yeah. Oh, God, I knew it. You see, that's, that's, that's my problem. You know, I, I'm just no good at that, Ralph. So how am I going to go to that interview on Monday with Wendy and pretend that we're still married? I mean, to lie like that, I just can't. I mean, would you do it? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, I've never even met your wife. <laughs> of course, Ralph. Where was my head? How is my number one fan? Oh, hi, Ricky. Uh, tell me something, um, oh. uh, John. John. Uh, did you really remember me and the Fortunates? You bet. I mean, I loved your music. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> I can't tell you how much that means to me. I'm really going to sleep well tonight. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Okay, next week, Ricky. Can I give you a lift anywhere, Mrs. Filbert? Oh, yes, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very happy about this. Oh, John. Look, when we were married, how many times did I do things that I didn't enjoy just to make you happy? <laughs> Please, Wendy, we're not alone here. You must be Mr. and Mrs. Lacey. Yes, hello, sister. Yes, we are. Yes, that's right. I'm Mr. Lacey, and this is my wife, Mrs. Lacey. I'll go and tell the father that you're both here. Uh, would you care for some coffee? Oh, thank oh, you very yes, much. Oh, please. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Wendy, we shouldn't hold hands. We're supposed to be married. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Lacey, I'm Father Brennan. I Hello, just Father. found your son's records. Do sit down. I see that uh, he's a great little baseball player. Yes, he's a chip off the old block. Oh, you used to play, Mr. Lacey. Uh, no, Wendy did. <laughs> yes, I, I used to play a little ball in high school. I see that you have only the one child. Yes, uh huh. Uh, well, of course, we were hoping for more, but, uh, yes, well, well I, I, you know, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. No, no. Well, that's a shame, especially when it happens to young people like yourselves. Mm -hmm. What was your position? <laughs> My position? I used to play shortstop. Oh, oh yes. I, I, I was a left fielder. Oh. Well, you know, we have a great sports tradition here. I think young Matthew will be happy with us. Yeah. Uh, assuming, of course, he's accepted. Oh, yes, of yeah, course. Yes, of course. Oh. Do you take sugar, Mrs. Lacey? No, thank you, sister. Tell me something, Mr. and Mrs. Lacey. Why exactly do you want young Matthew transferred here to St. Pete's? Um, uh, basically... Father, it's quite simple. St. Pete's has the finest reputation in the area. And, of course, we want the very best for our son. Yes, of course you do. And we find that the most responsive and successful pupils come from a warm and stable family background. Yes. <laughs> like young Matthews. And we encourage parents to participate in the school's extracurricular activities. Unless, of course, your time is already taken up with social and community work. No, no. Well, I mean, not every minute. 
No, no, plenty of free time. Mm -hmm. Except, of course, on Fridays, I have to go to my divor divor <laughs> divinity class. <laughs> but most of the week, I'm free. Divinity class? Did you hear that, Father? I most certainly did. So if we need someone to teach the odd catechism class? Well, actually, uh, Father, it's sort of a beginning divinity class. Uh, mostly, so far, we've watched movies. <laughs> really, uh, very important movies. Uh, last week, we watched The Robe. It's a great movie, uh, The Robe. Why Victor Mature never won the Academy Award is beyond me. Now then, assuming your son's accepted, uh, we know where to contact you? Well, yes, most evenings I'm at my place. Your place? Mm. Uh, his special place. Out in the yard. He has a little... Uh, special place. And most evenings you're in it? Well, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, sure. You see, that's where we keep... <laughs> Did you say rabbits? Yes. The rabbits John raises. I don't believe this. I don't blame you. <laughs> I keep rabbits, too. <sighs> this is unbelievable. No, oh, it's true. I've kept rabbits ever since I was a child. Fascinating little creatures. <laughs> oh, I, we must have a long talk about them sometime. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Well, then, Mr. and Mrs. Lacey, um, certainly you understand I can't give you a definite answer right away. Matthew's name must go before the Board of Governors, but oh. I think I can say that his application will be looked at most sympathetically. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you very much, you. Father. Now, uh, have you completed that transfer form? Oh, yes, I've got it right here. <laughs> You can't buy these in stores, you know. <laughs> anyway. Next, a revealing case involves Miss Nude International and an all-new L.A. law. And Sunday night, a personal tragedy for Nick brings tender loving care and an all-new family tie, followed by all-new laughs on Day by Day. Then, the laughs are on wheels at an auto plant in the movie comedy Gung Ho a network TV premiere.